Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to another Attila Total War Medieval Kingdoms 1212 campaign part as the Kingdom of Jerusalem. In the last episode, we failed to complete the Crusade objective and we were pushed back, unfortunately, losing our king as well. It was just a catastrophic failure. We, we died for Cairo and we just did not have enough men to secure the city. However, we are rebuilding and we will prepare ourselves to give it another go. I think actually, you know, taking Jerusalem would be a great idea because that will give us kind of like a staging point to dive into enemy territory. So I think we might try and take the holy city of Jerusalem and, you know, make that our kind of our landing point to invade Cairo. Because I think from Jerusalem, we can actually hit Cairo in a turn, which was pretty goddamn useful. So we're just going to continue to, to raise more men, raise more infantry everywhere we can. And then hopefully we'll be able to hit the enemy. We've actually used up all our money for this turn, so we can't really do that yeah there we go the army of fire and steel has been lost press f to pay respects in the chat also guys i've been getting a ton of questions asking when this is going to be available to everyone i mean like i say this in most episodes this is in closed beta there is no sign of a release date quite yet they are working heavily on you know getting everything ready so when the game does come out it's going to be in a much better state what i would suggest doing is just pay attention to the channel when i like, you know when i release a oh those we consider Ooh, maybe yeah sure um just keep like because at the moment there's only the early early period in the game when the late period and the like oh, obviously after the medium period or mid period gets added as well but when the late period gets added to the game then there's probably a good chance that the mod is going to be coming out pretty soon after that but they still have to add in custom buildings for every faction they need to clean up a lot of the scripts or add in a lot of the scripts for all the other factions they need to continue on working on the ships as well to get them into the game so there's still a decent way to go but just know that they are making great progress on the mod itself so you know it's definitely positive positive things and we are playing with the most recent uh patch as well with the scripts so a lot of the crusader stuff that we ran into the issues we ran into have now been fixed that's also amazing how they're like you know i'm running into a few issues in these episodes and then they fix literally for the next one so that's great um so oh a new pope has been elected that's pretty interesting i'd say so myself uh, his holiness the pope has been uh, you know gathered up to god it's unfortunate that he died, but now a new pope. I wonder how this pope will handle the situation. It'd be very, very cool if each pope had, like, their own personality. I guess he can, you can do that through scripts, right? So, like, the first pope was maybe really, really, like, into crusading, and this one's maybe a lot more, like, something else. And I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to kind of filter through that. So let's definitely just pump out infantry. We need men, and everything else will come later. I, I definitely want this army to replenish. Um, I obviously do see there is a rebellion here as well. We'll probably go over next turn and deal with it because I want to keep this protected. Um, I also, I'm probably in three turns time. Can we wait three turns time? Because the thing is, I don't want to leave this settlement and then have it sieged by an army at Jerusalem. But I also do need to deal with this rebellion. Mm, yeah, it's a tricky, tricky uh, decision to make. What do we do? I think we do wait a couple turns. Yeah, I think we have to. So let's end the turn again. Oh, a few people leveled up as well as the governor. And I guess we should go down this cunning route and then maybe a bit more tax. Yeah, something like that. And then Gene also leveled up as well. Uh, let's get his other authority point for more of our uh, more you know public order. Because I think there's around about five plus public order. They start getting a bonus. I mean, five authority. They start getting a bonus to public order, which is obviously you know very nice, especially in the early game when you don't necessarily have like the temples and the sanitation to really deal with it. You know, the early game is very much about kind of consolidating your power. And, uh, you know, just making your provinces happy. But yeah, having to deal with that rebellion is going to be our probably our first goal in this episode. Because they just keep on trying to, like, harass me, right? We need to get some of our own. Oh, yeah, the Crusaders... The Crusader needed to just come to a halt due to a defeat... So is that just over now? Are we just lost the crusade? I guess so. That sucks so much. We have that one opportunity and now the crusade is gone forever. That really, really sucks. Are we no longer at war with the Ayyubid Sultanate? We're not. Oh, very interesting. 
I mean, we're going to declare war on him again very soon, but that gives us some time. That's really cool. I like how um, with this scripted event, you're not just like shoehorned into a war. So it does mean we can also just do this now. So we'll move our, our, our army over. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, it's like, it just shows how you're not like just so shoehorned into fighting a faction you might not necessarily want to fight to the death. Because that's one of the things I hate in like Rome, Rome 2. When, you, when you're playing as Rome and you declare war on Carthage, it's literally just a war to the death. They never want to make peace. They never want to do like, it's just like constant warring. And I, I really, really dislike it. We should also now be able to create a few agents. We definitely want to get a spy. That is for sure. Um, yeah, campaign spotting probably. So we'll go ahead and grab this spy and we'll send him like down here to Jerusalem. I mean, if we have the money, which we do, we're actually kind of quite rich, I guess, because our army's dead. Uh, we want to recruit an assassin as well because I want to start killing these priests. So, I mean, all of these are pretty good. Um, but yeah, let's just get, uh, yeah, let's just get this dude. And we want to start taking out these priests from the Ayyubid Sultanate because they are causing me some serious issues and we want to make sure we deal with them. We can also start recruiting some knights. I do actually, if we want to save our money, probably upgrade some of our military buildings. Not that we have any. But it might not be a bad idea. I mean, we're making some decent food now of extra field over here as well. I mean, we don't really have the happiness to make this place happy because we have our bazaar. Yeah, we have like a lot of money making buildings, but we don't really have a lot of happiness buildings. I mean, obviously, ideally, I would love to gain more of the region of Cyprus, but I, I don't think I can go over to Crete and, and take it, because obviously the Venetians hold Crete, I'm pretty sure, at this point. So unless they have a rebellion or something, Crete's probably going to be, you know, firmly in the hands of Venice. Yeah, look at them flee. Oh, it's because we're no longer at war, right? But yeah, we're basically just going to form up our armies and then probably march on Jerusalem and try and take it for ourselves. Because, yeah, it's unfortunate we didn't, we didn't win the Crusade. But maybe another one will be uh, called, yes, yeah, a failed crusade, public order bonuses. Oh, yeah. The provinces are just not happy. Nice. All of them are done now as well. Our money situation is really good, though. So I guess we will also upgrade this to a better fort as well. Hopefully when these finally, finally finish, we'll also get some good bonuses to them. Yeah, all of them buildings are fine. I mean, I guess it's just, we're just building men now, yeah. We just need men to fight. Well, hopefully once that building is done, we'll get some more, uh, more elite infantry. We'll pick up some more of these knights as well. We can only get one. I guess we're at our limit of Templar knights, unfortunately. And then a few more horses. Something like that, I think, would be good. Yeah, and we'll, we'll stick around in both these provinces just again to keep them happy. The assassin can go after these guys. I mean, they're pretty upgraded, actually. Like, they're like rank three because they've just been harassing me so much. They're actually a pretty decent rank. But we'll try and take one out. We have like a good chance. And okay, they just killed him. Okay, great. <laughs> that's, a, that's an awesome way to, to start off. Oh, Damascus and Jerusalem are both kind of undefended. Um, very interesting. If we could, like, quickly strike Jerusalem or Damascus, that'd be amazing. Now, if we could just wipe out in one, like, swift blow, just, like, come in and, and clear out, like, one of these walled cities. Because obviously every settlement is walled in 1212. We just need to make sure we have enough infantry this time because when we took on Homs up here, we just didn't really have the infantry to, to secure it. But now, obviously, the Ayyubid Sultanate doesn't have to worry about anyone. It was also very interesting that none of the other factions, like, literally no one came over here. Uh, the migration, hey, I'll take that. That's uh, pretty useful because if we, I mean, all of these settlements are max, but this one isn't, so I wouldn't mind upgrading this one, building, like, a church off here or something. Our general leveled up as well. We'll obviously take the zeal or the pu public orders. Oh, we don't need the public order, do we? I'd love to grab up the movement range over here. Yeah, so let's do that. But you have to travel further is always, uh, you know, the, the number one thing I take. And then literally we're just we're just simply waiting for these armies to build. And then we do go to war with the Ayyubid Sultanate. I guess we'll, we'll scout down a little bit down here. Again, no armies. I want to go out into the, 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 the east and see if anything, like anyone's reclaimed this at all. Diplomacy-wise as well, can we like maybe form some alliances with a few people? Maybe try and get them to join us. Also, Thessalonica Welcome. might be our one on trade now. They do indeed. We could ask for some money, but it's only against the AI. So, you know, if this was a multiplayer campaign, maybe I would then ask you know, for someone to pay me some cash. But I'm not really that bothered. Oh, yeah, you're all the way over here as well. It'd be great if I could get someone else to like important to declare war on the open side. Maybe like get Venice on my side. 
because obviously they hold, you know, they could send launch armies here. Be most welcome. Your words will find an attentive audience. They would, uh, they would accept this military alliance as well, and we'll get military access as well. Yeah, sure. So maybe we can get the Venetians to come down and and help us out. Obviously, we've already got military allies with the uh, Principality of Antioch. So is there anyone else we'd want to bring down, like, to come and help us? I think that's fine for now. I think that's fine. Unless we're going to get, like, the Tsar or, or Bulgaria or maybe someone even, like, hungry to come down and help. I think that's fine for now. Okay, cool. Well, we've got Venice, so they, they might be able to help us out. And that's why I really, really can't wait until they add in naval stuff into this. Because they're making all their own custom ships as well for each of the factions. Which, again, is absolutely amazing. Um, and I guess it's going to be so fun to play someone like Venice when you've got the, uh, the naval units in. Because, obviously, Venice is known for their, their dominance over the Mediterranean. So, actually having... Being able to play with their navy and you stockade towns, starving them of trade. Um, it'll be so fun. And I think once they add in naval stuff, I think me and Apollo will definitely do a Genoa versus Venice campaign. Because that would just be so much fun, you know, because we have a land border and we have a naval border. Like, it'd just be really good. Oh, nice. You got a, uh, some good feathers. That's good. And our border fort has now been done. So can we recruit new interesting units? We can indeed. So what do we get access to? We get access to these dismounted knights. Who are much better. They're like a pike infantry by the looks of it. They take three turns to be done. We get horse archers and we get these knights as well. I guess we're, we're waiting a couple more turns then before we have to move in. I guess we're going to... Do we need more knights in this army? No, we honestly don't. Um, I guess we're getting rid of a few of these knights. Templar knights. And then also picking up some of these guys as well. Oh, yeah, so that's as many as we can recruit. Okay, interesting. That should give us a good setup though. Oh yeah, you can actually see right here, we're, we're at our noble recruitment limit, so maybe building a few of them districts would be a great idea. We can also recruit some good bowmen as well now, which is pretty interesting, we got access to them. So yeah, we'll just continue to upgrade our buildings and, uh, you know, prepare, wait, probably wait three more turns until this army is done, and then make our way in. We obviously also have an assassin who came back, I, I want to hunt down them priests if I can. But yeah, so by the looks of it, we're waiting three more turns. And then we are diving into war against the Ayyubid Sultanate once again. You know, the Crusade may have failed, but we will ensure that we secure dominance over the region. I also think as well that, yeah, this is starting to become Christian now. Because it's basically held by, obviously, Kingdom of Jerusalem and Antioch. This region is actually becoming Christian, which is great. So we've only got a couple more turns until, you know, our provinces are going to be thrown into war. But... I think if, if we can strike Jerusalem before the AI can commit men here, then we defend the city. It's all good. Like we we've definitely done a you know going to be able to hold it. And it doesn't look like they have any armies around here. Are they fighting anyone out of interest? They are fighting um, Makiria, which I imagine are either like down here. Are there no? Is it either down here or like over here? That's great for us because it's bringing them like really far away. Oh, Croatia, we can trade with them now. Perfect. Yeah, lots of trade is flowing. You know, we are we are exporting all the great goods from the east. I'm just waiting two turns there. I guess we'll, we'll leave him here for another turn just to help boost happiness. Um, fishing docks wouldn't be bad, but we just need happiness buildings here. So we're just going to wait. Oh, the city's going to grow next turn as well. And that's awesome because then we can build a chapel there. Probably a crusading chapel. Um, or like a, whatever, the, like the Knights Templar Chapel there, which will give us access to more Knights Templar. So we definitely won't, be, won't need to complain there. But this other army does lack quite a few missiles, though, actually. That's a good point. We are lacking missiles in the army at home, so we can always just, I guess, grab some on the way. Because obviously missiles are, like, pretty goddamn important. As the AI does tend to spam them. But I guess we will be just using tons of infantry. Wait, we already we already saw that event, didn't we? Do we get we don't get another negative effect, or do we? Has this like just reset? I don't think it has. But luckily, our papal standing is high enough to kind of counteract this for now, so that's okay. And then these are done in a turn's time, so our, our money is just like booming up. We could even go up to the next level of fortress stronghold, and that would give us access to wouldn't give us any more units, but it would give us more noble cap. It would eat up a lot of food. Do we have the food to... Not really, but if we upgrade this to like a wheat field. 
But that should hopefully sort it out, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll save up and we'll grab up. We'll grab up the stronghold, I think, here. We also should have the growth, yeah. Perfect. And we'll definitely build a... Well, do we want a Catholic chapel or do we want a pilgrim center? I think we just want a military order priory, right? Do we not have one over here? No, we have a temple check. Okay. Hmm, do I, I might want to destroy one of these buildings. We want the glass. I might destroy this, this tavern. We already have all of our agents, right? Yeah, I might destroy this tavern and build a, a proper church here. Because that will give us access to, I imagine, or oh, we could actually just convert it, right? Or can we not? No, we can't just convert it. Yeah, I'm going to destroy this, I think, because I'd rather have um, one of these chapels here, because they just seem really good. If we take a look at them, the military order ones, we get access to hospitaller knights and stuff, and, you know, these guys will just make such a big difference to our army. I think I'm going to build one over here as well, just because it gives us more stuff. Nice, we actually got our first technology. That's funny, because you, like, never get technology in this mod, because it's not set up for, like, you know, a one turn a year yet. Okay, cool. Well, we've got some good plans. We're building up our army there. This army is going to be ready to go. Probably they're done next turn and then we'll want to move, right? So, yeah. Unfortunately, it's probably going to create some unhappiness in this region. Yeah. But with the temple building, we should sort it out once we build that temple. So, we are working to do it. And then, yeah, let's, let's go to war with the Ayubid Sultanate again. Let's see. Hopefully, it will go better the second time and we'll secure some territory. Also, guys, if you are enjoying this campaign, be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does honestly help out the channel. Um, also, if you are looking for more live streams, I do stream a head-to-head -head with Apollo every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. GMT. So make sure to tune in. You can always find the VODs on the channel. And if you're looking to catch up, there is a playlist right at the top of the channel. You can check that out and uh, see what you know the campaign head-to-head -head has been like. It's definitely been a ton of fun. Um, so I, I really do recommend it. So our army is built. I would like to wait like another turn. But I think we push on. I think we push on Damascus just because it's a bigger city than Jerusalem. Let's go. So Venice and Matt hopefully come in. Yes, yeah, so everyone came in. The Caliphate. Oh, this dude came in. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hopefully Antioch can deal with him whilst I move south with my armies. We take this settlement! Yeah, we want to pick up some ladders. We just want to grab up something as soon as we can. We are at war again. I guess I'm going to bring up both my armies. Just in case they throw up forward any armies as well. Damascus doesn't have that big of a garrison. Um, which is nice. And we'll move our spy down just so we can see if anything is making its way up. Okay, perfect. That seems like a good setup. I'd love to build another army as well, but we're actually at our limit. And the, the early game, you only get like a couple armies because of our, yeah, both these generals, right? Have I got all my generals in positions, right? Yeah, well, at least both my governors are. Well, we could actually go up to this. Yeah, they could go up to the next set, so we'll do that. Unfortunately, though, my general hasn't quite managed to grab an office yet, which is fine. Let's see what the AI does. Hopefully we can take Damascus without a fight. And then also, I mean, it'd be amazing if we could also take uh, Jerusalem without a, like a proper fight. Like we just siege them and we just break our way through the gates and and win the day. But I'm, I'm sure the Ayyubid Sultanate will have something to say about it. They're moving armies. But it seems like they're busy in the south fighting whoever they're fighting, so... It's in, we, we kind of attacked at the perfect time. And I'd love to see Venice jump dropping down with like a full stack. That'd be very, very cool to see the Venetians turn up. Oh, the, the Bulgarians have been destroyed. No, my Bulgarian brothers. Who did they get taken out by? Oh, the Venetians. The Venetians killed the Bulgarians. I guess in the war with the, uh, the, the Latin Empire, the Byzantines. Good. Yeah, look at Crete as well. Holy crap, that is pretty well defended. Which is why I'm so surprised, because obviously the Venetians are Catholic. So I'm surprised how Orthodox is just holding in so much with uh, the uh, the Empire of Nicaea just holding that. I mean, maybe we'll have to go on Crusade and try and take out Rhodes. Um, Serbia and Norway are at war. It's kind of a weird fight. But I think Norway starts off as a Roman faction because they're not actually in the game. Um, so let's just all to resolve this. It's not going to be a fun fight. I will make sure we get a good fight this episode, so don't worry about that. And I guess we will just... Oh, we could loot it, 
but you know, we are not them men, so we will just occupy. No, nice, and I'll pick up the authority as well. Anything else? Uh, I guess charge bonus for cavalry recruited, even though we've already recruited our cavalry, but still. So the question is, do we go down to Jerusalem now and try and quickly siege that out before we move forward? That is the question. Um, so I guess we want to repair that so we can destroy it. We definitely want to destroy the mosque. Yeah, we don't need that research building. Slave market. Oh, we don't deal with slaves much. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll, we'll just talk about I mean, What do we even convert that into? It's just anything. Yeah, all these buildings are pretty high tier, so... Um, actually, that's not a bad idea as well. To build a hospital chapel down here will give us great access. Cause these are our military buildings as well, I think. A Crusader Inn gives us access to a bunch of men as well. Oh, okay, so this is the building chain for this, basically. Yeah, probably, we'll probably pick up a, a Hospitaller Chapel House. This is really cool. I love the way that this is like, this is just so different to playing a faction like France. It really is. Um, so maybe we come down and we start sieging at Jerusalem. We just try and quickly, quickly strike it. This army will take its uh, tick of replenishment and then it'll come down next turn. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That seems like a great plan. Um, hopefully the Ayyubid Sultan do have some men to throw at us. Uh, we have a new dude as well. I guess we'll pick the Entrepreneur as well. You will now be in control of this area. And I guess we will take the... Religious Unrest for now? Because we don't have anything built up here anyway. So yeah, let's just take the, uh, the Religious Tolerance in Jerusalem. Because obviously that won't be the, the best thing right now. However... Um, until we have until we have temples built and stuff, it's going to stay Muslim anyway. So we might as well wait until we do, you know, create some temples and stuff to change that. And we, so we might as well take the reduction in public order negatives. So, okay, so they're mustering now. Yeah, they're, they're mustering soldiers. But I think we'll be, yeah, we'll be able to take Jerusalem, which will be a great foothold. I will basically have all of the coast, all of the, the Middle East coast, which is going to be amazing for us. Some big wars going off. Trier going to war with Norway. Bohemia going to war with Norway. Looks like all the HRE is uh, at war. Yeah, we are definitely lacking food here, which is not going to be helping with public order. But Plaza, we can change over to like a city square. Let's grab the Hospitaller Church. That seems kind of cool to have, like, the chapel there. And we need a food building, I think. Unless, and this can change to a, a church as well. That can change to a border fort. I mean, everything has to be a fort. Even though it is Damascus, maybe we should just make it into a walled city. Gives us some good cash. And we are starting to dwindle a little bit on cash. Um, and then I guess this has to be changed to a farm. So we'll keep on destroying it. That seems like a good enough plan. I mean, we should get money from destroying these buildings as well. But yeah, we definitely just come in here. Again, not an exciting battle to fight, so we will just ought to resolve it. And we will occupy Jerusalem. We will not burn it to the ground. We will not rape and pillage because we are not those men. But yeah, you can see this. The city is absolutely fucked right now. It really is. Um, again, let's destroy this mosque. Um, let's destroy this sheep. Uh, actually, no, we want to keep the food. Yeah, we want to keep the food. And these sheep herders do give a lot of great money. A Jewish community? This is pretty interesting, actually. Because once we build this, that should really give us some religious cultural influence. And this is a level 3 Jewish community, which gives a ton of money. You know, it, it does give a lot of Jewish religion. So maybe we'll go down to a level 2, just to kind of... But again, if we have religious tolerance, we'll have a whole mix of Muslim, Jewish, and also Christian here. So maybe we'll try and make this region into like a multicultural one, and just see how that works in the game. I think that'd be kind of fun, right? And we'll repair the city as well. We'll have to repair it and then change, build it. So it's fine. I think that's a that'll be, that'll be an interesting way of approaching things. You know, we'll try and see if we just need to take uh, what Aquaba really quickly, and then we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see if we can make like a mulch, like just a, a city of every religion. I think that'd be quite fun. Man, I hope the Iobid Sultan doesn't just, like, spawn up with, like, seven stacks now. You can see they're recruiting, and I imagine their other armies are all on the way. 
Yeah, I don't know, they're just fortifying as they continue to recruit. So we can make some we can make some good progress forward if we wanted to. I think for now though, we just need to replenish. We need to probably build up. Oh, spread the religion. That's kind of good in, in Jerusalem. So what do we need to do? This is what the bonus we get? Or is this just... Oh, the majority. I mean, we have 10 turns to do it, but that's a long way to go. And we just said we, we wanted to kind of make a, a Jewish... We already have one here as well. My god, they must have been making so much money. Oh no, actually, this is just the plaza, right? We'll destroy it, I guess. And convert this to... To the cattle herder is probably fine. Well, sheep herder makes the most money. But does also not give us a lot of food. And we are losing food here. Um, let's just put some cattle. Because cattle is like a good mix between money making and food. So that's fine. Uh, and everyone else is you know, looking kind of okay up here to the north. Not really. Again, we want to probably build just like a, a military order priory everywhere. Just so we have that huge bonus to like our, our recruit, recruitable military cap. You can see right there on the left hand side it says military order unit cap. So sure, why not? And we should also, can we recruit men down here as well now? No, we can't quite yet. What are we waiting for? Probably all of these buildings to be done. We don't have, oh, we have enough money to, to upgrade these. It's unfortunate. Yeah, once this is done, we should be good. And once this is done, we should be good. We'll be able to start pumping out Hospitella Knights as well. And how can I assist you? Just taking a look at seeing where their armies are. Because they must be around here somewhere. They are recruiting more men. Just like we're sick. Because, yeah, they're actually boarded up here in the north, right? We're at war with this faction. And they're boarded. Ready for battle. Well, we've got a lot of military presence around here. I'm half tempted to send this army back north, but we just don't have the money. You can see we're not making a lot of cash right now. We've obviously spent a lot of it doing up Damascus and Jerusalem. Here they come. They fortified Aqaba. I'm sure they'll send up a lot more men. Who are you? Are you the... Oh, this is the faction they must be at war with. The Ayuba Sultan. That's the reason why they've not really sent armies against me yet. Oh, nice. That's kind of good. Uh, our relationship with Venice has improved pretty dramatically. I can't believe they took out the Bulgarian land. That's hilarious. We, all, we also discovered Milan as well, but obviously Milan's not ported, so we can't really get trade with them, unfortunately. Would have been nice to get trade with them. Anyone else we can get trade with now as we sell out many goods? Yeah, Jerusalem is making a ton of money. Damascus really isn't making us a lot of cash, but it's probably because everything is upgrading, though, in fairness. And what do we want to build here? I guess maybe a pilgrim center could be kind of cool. You know, it is, you know, it is Damascus after all. And we've got, like, these chapels building. This is just a... I really, really am having, like, this is just cool. This is just really cool, like having all these different chapels. Like we have Templars up in the north with uh, this one. We're going to have a Hospitella one down in Jerusalem. This is kind of like, a, I feel like there's a lot more than just, you know, basic stuff at stake here. So let's move our assassin back just to continue to scout out what they've got up here. Oh, we could try and strike their army on the road. Before they reach the city? I think we have to. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, that's a good army, and we've got Nafatoons in their forces. Not a lot of cavalry, which is nice. They haven't got a ton of horses, so that'll be uh, decent to um, take out. Oh, they've got a lot more... This is, like, a lot more heavy infantry and, and crossbows, I think. This would be a great defensive army, like, in a city. A really good defensive army in a city, actually. But, yeah, smashing their army out here would be great, because then we can just siege the city and take it. So let's form up and prepare the ranks for war. They also obviously have these Nafatoon throwers, which are going to be deadly. We have to either focus them down with missiles, like, immediately. Or, I don't know what else to do. Probably just hit them with horses. But let's form up our battle line, and we'll prepare for war. We'll just have a nice, like, strong line. We have a lot of spears. Like, a lot of spears. Again, I don't know why it, like, zooms them out so much. Like, obviously, this is to help performance. 
But I feel like it's a bit extreme, and I, I feel like I should be able to turn this on and off, because it does kind of take away from the battle, like, personally, I feel, like, having these guys being taken out. I don't know, like, if I have a good enough computer, like, to, to run this stuff, it, I, I don't know, it just feels like a little bit, like, it's, I don't know, there's, there's no men here anymore, it's just, like, floating banners. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just not a, a huge fan, but maybe if it dramatically improves performance, I guess it's, uh, it's worth it. But it'd just be nice, like, if I'm on, if I, if it was, like, an option to turn it on and off or something, it would be kind of cool. So, we'll stick everything over here. Also, sorry if it's really bright for you guys. I don't think it is, because looking at my OBS, it seems like it's okay, but on my, my monitor, it's really, really bright. Let's just advance forward. We'll march our way. And we will hopefully, if we strike the Ayubid Sultanate here, we'll be in a very great spot because then we can take Aquaba and then secure this entire region for the Kingdom of Jerusalem and make some pretty crazy progress, so. As the ranks do move forward, the general as well. Some of the noble spears on this flank, I think. Yeah, no, these are actually the weaker dudes. These are literally just the like militia spearmen. The huge war horses as well. Awesome. So we'll just we'll just continue to move forward. We'll probably triple speed it whilst we get closer. So I don't want to run my way to them. But as soon as we get into range, they will like obviously like shift into attack we'll just continue to march we don't want to exhaust our men our spearmen are going to have to obviously charge forward and break them but it's going to be about our cavalry right our cavalry is like as soon as the infantry lines clash our cavalry is going to come flying in crossbow cavalry is going to be very annoying to deal with really really annoying to deal with everything else should be fine like these guys won't put up much of a fight these dudes are really good though the uh actually no these are the weaker ones these aren't the uh, heavy ones, like these dudes. Oh, these, oh my god, fucking Tabataria constantly. Tabataria are scary as hell. The spearmen, the Jud spearmen are pretty decent. But yeah, we only have a handful of units of them. So this should be a, a pretty nice battle for us. We shouldn't have to worry too much. Let's kick this bad boy off then. Let's get it started. We'll go into range of our crossbows and we'll give them hell. It's going to kick start the battle. Crossbows, and we'll form up an infantry line as well just to protect ourselves from missiles. And you guys also form it. Now we'll just have a bit of a crossbow fire off as well. Copper missile fire is coming in, and it's a lot of soldiers are dropping. Oh my god, they've decimated this unit of crossbows on the flank. Okay, well, I guess we advance forward the infantry line then. We throw the cavalry around the flanks with the support of the spearmen as well. Man, their crossbows, I mean, they are in loose formation after all, I guess. Forward, boys. Well, they're throwing out their horses. Oh, I wonder why. Well, we have a unit back here just to protect. Yeah, it's like, it's quite hard to navigate this as well. Oh, God, they're going to rip through my unit and my spearmen were not braced at all. Oh, it's going to be brutal stuff. Spearman coming in to aid this fight, but we should win this cavalry fight kind of handily. Like, it's quite hard to tell where my units are as well, if I'm honest. Kind of a fast paced battle. Let's go and slow mo it really quickly. Because I want to get my cavalry caught up, but we killed their cavalry. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, look at that. It's very hard to tell what's going on in the battle. Also, the AI should not be able to, like, break that cavalry fight and just go and hit my, my missiles. Um, I guess just continue to hit their missiles. The infantry line is clashed now. Yeah, like it's, it's just hard, it's just hard to tell what's going on here. Like, is this unit engaged on this unit? Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they can do something about that because I feel like it really kills a lot of the immersion in the battle. Like, obviously it's performance, but if I'm on ultra graphics, I shouldn't have to really worry about that. Oh fuck, them Tabadaria. Let's get all of these crossbows just to simply focus down the Tabadaria with everything we've got. 
Cavalry fights have won here pretty handedly, so let's go after their missiles there. You guys come crashing down there. We've got another unit of spears coming up. Bring up our general slightly as well. We want to make sure we kill the Tabidori with everything we've got. And just be very, very cautious of them Nafatoons. Our, our cavalry can make its way around the flank. Which is exactly what we are doing. You guys chase down them spears. You guys keep on going. You guys keep on going as well. We'll zoom in and watch some of the infantry fighting. So, like, fighting these tribesmen shouldn't be an issue for us. It's for the heavier infantry they have. The Nafatoon, the Tabadaria. That's what really, really scares me in this battle. Oh, you can see the Nafatoons going out as well. But they're killing so many more of their own men than they are of mine. Um, let's bring our cavalry in then. We need to hit these Nafatoons like now. Oh, actually, kill these horses, please. And we'll just bring our, our cavalry around. Luckily, we have a lot of cavalry in this fight, so... We should be able to, like, surround these missiles. Yeah, but... Oh, my God. Yeah, the Nafatoons are doing so much damage. Okay, crossbows focus down them now. The Tabadoria can just wait. I'm actually we're going to get all our crossbows to kill the Nafatoons. Because we have cavalry coming in from every single side now. Yeah, it's just like so... Like, I don't know if this is like a... Like, how many men are in this unit? I don't know. I'll stop going on about it. I've been complaining quite a lot. Nice cavalry charge there. Wrapping them in. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. Yeah, we have, we have enough cavalry to really, you know, whittle them down here. And we also managed to hit their missiles there. Perfect. Okay, all the crossbows can now focus the Tabadaria. For sure. I guess we'll use our general maybe a bit more aggressively as well to, like, rear charge. Because our center can easily break. Like, this can break quite quite easily. We'll probably drop, like, a brace down here as well. Try and buff up these dudes. We probably do need to commit more men over here. Nice. Killing this arch crossbow unit is great. We've come flying in. All the crossbows are focused in down the Tabadaria. We've managed to kill the Nafatoons as well. Bring our general around. Spearmen can obviously engage them. The cavalry can fall out and I guess try and help out finish off these dudes. We're engaging the rest of their cavalry over here as well. We'll go back on to normal speed now as well. I guess maybe we'll just come and help out with this fight. Killing the Nafatoons. I want to make sure we, the Nafatoons are dead. Like I do not want them coming back. Um, and I guess let's continue to crush in on these guys. Try and break more of their... Dudes, this cavalry can come back and maybe try and help out. We'll leave the Tabadoria just to get shot to pieces. Because they are, we are rear shooting them now as well. Into the back of the tribes. And that's kind of cool though. The tribesmen do turn around to face me when I when I come in and fight them. That's kind of a nice way that they've got the AI to work with that. Yeah, more of them going down. I guess the general can go over here now. We're breaking all of these missiles. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for the battle. We've managed to kill all these dudes as well. Let's crush in and help out. Man, I really hope they can add in guard mode back into this game. I think there is a mob that does it, right? So hopefully they can institute that in their game. We just need to rear charge. Oh my god, yeah. This is broken. That's not good. Wait, what? How are they just running in? Okay, they routed. Thank god. I was going to say, how the hell do they just run through all my units there? Nice. Tabadori has been shot to pieces. Perfect. Cavalry is all one as well. Okay, let's just break our way in and we'll finish this one off. You guys just shoot something random. Just shoot these routing units. Let's get these guys out of there. Spear we need to hold. We'll just clean this one off. Yeah, nice. So a pretty good battle for us, I would say. We didn't lose too many men. We managed to kill their army. I mean, obviously, this is the Ayub and Sultan. They have plenty more units to uh, to fight. Let's see what our charge can do. I want to kill, like, off these last units. Because, obviously, whatever survives is going to come back into um, the city. And we're going to have to kill it anyway. So we might as well just chase down a few of these guys and break them. It's also not bad for to get some extra experience on our general units as well. Shoot this one, why not? This poor routing men just being hammered by crossbow bolts. War is hell after all. Yeah, these guys down enough. Uh, we'll wait until we get like under like 20. That should kill them. There we go, perfect. 
tonight. A decisive victory against the IU Insultant. We only lost 800 men. Our infantry is really what's lacking right now. Our infantry just really struggled to fight in these, in these battles. So getting more infantry is going to be absolutely key for sure. But yeah, we killed the army, which is great. And I guess we move, we march on the city next. It only makes sense to march on the city. I guess we also siege with this army. It's going to cause a rebellion up here, but it's going to gonna be a must. And then we'll, we'll take the city. And then hopefully that will be uh, that'll be that this region secured. We definitely do need to save our money, though, because we need to save the money to get Aquaba up and running. Oh, something about the Pope just popped up. So considering how disastrous the second episode was in this episode, like, we've kind of brought it back, which is nice. You know, after the Ayyubid Sultan crushed our army, I mean, to be fair, it's not like the Ayyubid Sultan has been able to muster their armies. They're busy fighting the faction to the south, but, you know, still, can't complain. The garrison wasn't there? Oh, no! I totally didn't even think that that would happen. Because the city, we didn't repair the fucking city. Oh, I, yeah, that's my bad. I just didn't put two and two together. Because we didn't, because the city was still a different culture, we didn't get the garrison back. So they, the rebellion could just walk in. I mean, we will just go and take it right now. But it doesn't mean we have to re-recruit some stuff. I just didn't even think, like, Damascus would be fine. Because, oh no, Damascus, uh, Damascus does have a garrison now, which is good. What do we want to build here as well? That'd be some stuff for public order. Reduces corruption as well. This wouldn't be bad either. This gives us food and also more noble cap, and we need noble cap. So I'm actually going to pick up that up. And we don't really have a lot of money, so we're going to have to destroy a few of these buildings, I think. A muster ground? Mm, being able to spam units out of Jerusalem is not a bad thing. We can't, we can't afford any anything else, so we'll just destroy that and repair this at some point next time. So cool, there we go, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this campaign on the channel. Um, this weekend, I should probably have another episode up. If not this weekend, it will be up on Monday. So keep an eye open for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.